Hello everyone, welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Monday, March 9th, 2015. I'm your host, Banks Lee. Let's take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter account, at Attractions, starting with Monday, March 2nd. We were over at Islands of Adventure. In fact, we took this photo because it was Dr. Seuss's birthday, and if you didn't know this, figure right there on the left, as you can see at Seuss Landing, that is Dr. Seuss himself. Nice little homage to him. Moving on to March 3rd, Magic City Mayhem on Twitter shared this really cool photo of us. I, I, I personally, I love Florida sunsets. They're some of the most beautiful sunsets out there. Um, and this is a great great sunset with the Hogwarts Castle silhouetted in black against that beautiful orange sky. Great, great photo there, Mikey. Also on March 3rd, we were over at Universal Studios Florida to check out the Dig Escape the Room Challenge temporary escape room they had set up in the Disaster Extended Queue. We'll have a segment on this on this week's show, so you do not want to miss that. As you can see, we did make it out. While we were over at Universal, we checked out the Twister gift shop, and we found these Sharknado shirts on sale. They were definitely there before Sharknado 3 was filming at Universal, but talking to some of the team members, they are they got very popular after that was filmed there, and they, they said they're pretty much guaranteed that they're going to have some more Sharknado merchandise coming soon to the park, since the third movie has such a big tie-in with Universal Orlando, so be on the lookout for that if you're a fan of that franchise. Moving on to March 4th, we went over to Adventure Island in Tampa to check out their brand new water slide, Colossal Curl. Here's a look at it. it this is a pretty awesome slide. Now, as you can see in this photo right here, that's me and my co-host Lisa, a Adventure Island team member riding Colossal Curl. They filmed us riding it. You can see it on last week's episode of the show, so definitely check that out. We filmed the whole episode at Adventure Island. We then went over to Epcot to check out some of the topiaries over at the Flower and Garden Festival because it kicked off on March 4th. This is a brand new topiary. Topiary, I should say. It's featuring Chip and Dale. Believe it or not, 20 plus years the Flower and Garden Festival has been going on. It's the first time they've had Chip and Dale. We shared this photo of a magic band, a special magic band they're selling for the Flower and Garden Festival featuring Anna and Elsa in their Frozen Fever spring wear. And here you can see, as shared by Theme Park Review, What's the Frozen Magic Band, the special little lights that, uh, that show up when you use that Magic Band at uh, Fast Pass Plus or, or on the main entrance? On March 5th, we went over to Downtown Disney to check out some things. Here you can see DJ Elliot having some fun with some kids and families at the waterfront stage at Marketplace in Downtown Disney. They have music and DJs there, I think, almost every single night. So it's definitely fun to check out if you're there shopping around. Families can go shop. Kids can uh, can go and boogie down. On to March 6th, Fun Spot America shared this photo of the construction for Gator Spot coming along very nicely. It's the entrance. Should be opening sometime, I believe, this month. Also on March 6th, the a poster for Tomorrowland was released, as you can see poster features George Clooney, and actually a nice first time we've seen a actual park reference from Tomorrowland in the movie universe of Tomorrowland. You can see Space Mountain. That's also featured in the brand new trailer. Also on March 6th, we were over at Bush Gardens in Tampa to check out a preview of their Food and Wine Festival. Now, the Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival has been going on at the Williamsburg Park for years. This year was the first time it's been here in Tampa, so we're just giving a preview of what was going to be offered there. As you can see right here, one of the food and wine stands that you can find all throughout Guazi Park. Food is very good, very good. At least what we sampled, the the bacon and mac and cheese is mwah, loved it. Check out a segment on this on this week's episode of the show. On March 7th, K Linder 7 on Twitter shared this photo. Look who's back. The central hub area has now starting to emerge from behind construction walls as that gets updated to match the look of the hub expansion. And Walt and Mickey, the partner statue, is finally out from behind walls. Looks a lot better now. I lo I'm loving the aesthetic look that the whole hub is starting to get. As you can kind of see in the background there on the left and right, walls are starting to go up on those sides of the castle stage. That's probably where they're going to be building some more of the hub expansion. I think that's where they're going to put some castle turrets. So we'll see what happens with construction there over the next few weeks. March 7th, we went back to Epcot to check out some more of the Epcot Flower and Garden Festival. 
Right here you can see we tasted some of the Florida beers that were available. This Florida Fresh Beer Flight. Ooh, it looks very delicious. I have to go, might have to go and try that myself. And right here, over at the Flower and Garden Festival, you can see this vine post. This is the Inside Out Garden, what they call the Emotion Garden. Just kind of uh, tying in, obviously, with the upcoming Disney Pixar film Inside Out. Uh, various plants based off of the different emotions that you will see in that film. This is, this is something that actually kind of took me by surprise. Over in the Japan Pavilion, I had no idea they were doing this. They uh, added a brand new seating area uh, for one of the restaurants there. It's, it's very beautiful. It definitely blends in with the theming of the area and you know, offering just a lot more seating than what was previously available. I like it. This I have to try. I, I, obviously, I said I loved the bacon mac and cheese at the Food and Wine Festival at Bush Gardens. I've got to try maple bacon beer over at the Flower and Garden Festival. That just looks good. That looks good. And don't forget, there are performances when you're at the Flower and Garden Festival. Here's a Vine post of Gin Blossoms performing during the Garden Rocks concert at Epcot. You can check our blog for a full list of who is performing this year. Moving on to March 8th, we went over to SeaWorld to check out their Bands, Brew, and Barbecue. This was the first weekend for 2015. You see some specialty merchandise for the uh, for the event there. Shamu and Dolly playing, having fun with some diners at SeaWorld, meeting guests. I love their country outfits. So cute. And here's Leonard Skinner in concert. Each day of bar- Bands, Brew, and Barbecue, you will find a different performer. You can see that list also on our blog at attractionsmagazine.com. And finally, to close out Weekly Rewind this week, I wanted to share this photo of the cover of our upcoming spring issue. As you can see, we're featuring the Chinese Theater at Hollywood Studios. What's old is new again. Once Now that the hat is completely gone, we have that old, iconic view that the park had when they first opened in 1989. Oh, so good to see that view once again. So we're featuring on our cover. You can check out a story about Tomorrowland, uh, creation of Islands of Adventure, the escape room games that are popping up all over Orlando. Definitely don't want to miss this issue of Orlando Attractions Magazine, so head to attractionsmagazine.com, subscribe, start with this issue. Well, that's going to do it this week for the Weekly Rewind. Don't forget to tune into the show this Thursday. We're going to take you to Bush Gardens for their Food and Wine Festival, and we're going to show you inside the Dig Escape the Room experience that was at Universal this past week. So tune in on Thursday, and until next week, have fun, guys. <laughs>